Hey guys, Spider here, and this video is of a game called The Last Stand. This was the start of COD Zombies. Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. This is where it all began. Here on The Last Stand. This is pretty much COD Zombies in its simplest form. And if you uh, came here from the video, part one of the uh, Nazi Zombie story that I've been going through, uh, you'll know that uh, this this was the... the um, Basically, the basis for COD Zombies. Uh, Jesse Snyder talking uh, about the stuff who uh, <clears throat> used to be at Treyarch and um, was originally had worked on COD Zombies when it first started off for World at War. Uh, he's now with 343 Studios and working on Halo 4. But uh, it was him and uh, Jason McCord, lead level designer at the time. And uh, one of the producers, Dan Bunting, and they were all talking about this. And, and uh, there was a guy called Sean Slayback, who was one of the designers, and he actually suggested this game. And basically, uh, Jesse went and played this game and said, hey, this is the start of Nazi zombies. So basically, all you're doing here is defending one barricade against this freaking waves of zombies, right? I mean, <laughs> hello, Nazi zombies. And you start off with a pistol, and you can get weapons, you can look for survivors, and you can spend time repairing the barricade uh, during the day, basically. So, and the goal is to just survive how, however many nights or days that you can survive instead of rounds. We can call them rounds, whatever, right? So finish those guys off. So here, this is uh, during the day. You have 12 hours to use up. You can repair the barricade. And if you find survivors, they can help you repair the barricade. Search for weapons or search for more survivors. And if you do search for... You can lose, actually, uh, people from your search party. If you go searching for weapons or survivors, you can lose people from your search party. So uh, We do have a uh, revolver. We unlocked a revolver. Yeah! Or we found a revolver. Cool. This revolver's pretty good. Look at these freaking big ass zombies coming at us. You definitely wanna you definitely wanna shoot these faster guys. Because they'll actually obviously get to your barrier faster, but they'll also tear it down faster. Look at this guy. What the hell? Can I have that gun? There's a gun right there. I don't need to uh search for a gun. He has one. And uh you can see the the buddy up there, he's actually firing, although he doesn't know how to fire as fast as I do. I'll have to uh, learn them up there. All right, so we just survived day three. Our barricade's 100%, which is good, and we're going to split uh, split our time between searching for survivors. See, look at that. We found a survivor, but we lost somebody from our search party, <clears throat> unfortunately. All right, we didn't get any other weapons. Oh, we got the ladies. The ladies, hello, ladies. What's up? The dogs. Now, I don't know what the purpose of the dog dogs are. I, I guess he is trying to bite the barrier. I have no idea. He is do he is doing some damage on it, but not near as much as the as the uh, zombies are doing. So I pretty much disregard the dogs for the most part. And to be honest, they didn't really like look like they were doing anything. But now that I I'm watching the video, I can see the. Uh, the barricade uh, percentage go down, but that's all right. That's all right. Oh my God, these guys are freaking tearing down. Oh my God, we're at like 44 percent. No! Oh my God, get the dog, get the dog. Oh my God, I can't move. No, there we go. All right. So it's not actually. You have to use the WASD keys. Uh, you don't actually just move up and down. You can move back and forth a little bit. And if you're too close to the barrier, you can't actually move down there. So. Uh, we obviously have to repair the barrier because we want that as close to 100% as possible. 98% <clears throat> is good enough. Look at that. Yeah, UMP. I think the UMP is overpowered. But look at all the weapons. And I, I don't know how many I unlock, actually, during this uh, gameplay. But a fair bit. So this is on day five. Oh, yeah. UMP, baby. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reload whenever I can. It automatically reloads, though, when you get to uh, zero ammo. I should be... Man, next time I play this, I'm going to do... Uh, if I ever do, I'm going to make sure I get those dogs. Look at that guy. Look how fast he was running, man. Look at these zombies. Zombies can't run. They don't run. But uh, it, it's pretty cool that this was... 
again, this was the, the basis for uh, the whole Call of Duty Nazi Zombies game mode. It's pretty crazy. Look at that. See, I'm not moving down. I'm like, dude, I can't move down. But you have to move back. Come on, spider. Come on, you got it. There you go. There you go. Now I'm down there. Look at all these dudes. It's like three dogs and two, three zombies attacking my barrier. Damn you. All right. Day five survived. Yeah. Oh my God, we're at 24. Really? All right, we'll bring it up to uh, 94. And uh, we'll look for survivors. Forget the weapons. I think you actually can unlock weapons without even searching for weapons. It'll just take longer. <clears throat> so we're all right. Look at that. We got two survivors. Yeah. And the thing is, you have to keep looking for, for survivors, too, because if you just look for weapons, then they end up disappearing. And obviously, with more survivors, you can repair your barrier faster. It doesn't take as long. So at the end of this round, we should be able to repair the barrier 15% per hour. So that's good. Definitely good. So, uh, you know, obviously the takeaway from this game uh, is turn you know, to go to COD Zombies is to turn into first person. If you could actually repair the barriers in real time. Uh, what if you could actually find and buy weapons during the level instead of just doing it afterwards. Unlocking new areas, etc. The change of strategy uh, and flow of the enemies plus playing in co-op. Yeah, that would be cool if you could actually play this game in co-op. That'd be alright. So, <clears throat> that's cool. What do we, what'd we get? What do we do? Oh, we got a shotgun! Shotty! So we found one survivor and we lost one survivor. Hmm. That's no good. So this is day seven now. Man, you get lots, a lot of more zombies. I'm just looking at the uh, the audio, the audio profile in each day, and the audio profile gets longer and longer. But uh, the shotgun's not bad, but it's um, when you reload, <clears throat> if you do, if you just let it reload automatically, and you're trying to shoot it, only does one shell at a time. Uh, so it does take a long time to reload. It's good as a secondary, but I wouldn't, I would definitely not use it as a uh, as a primary all the time. And just wait for uh, the zombies to get close, like they are now. But I already used it and I didn't reload, so... Fortunately... Blah, blah. I think uh, I think they actually improved upon the sounds of this game in uh, COD Zombies, didn't they? <laughs> I wonder if they have any Easter eggs. But uh, this game is pretty cool. I don't know when it was released. Obviously, prior to 2009... Maybe 2008 or 2007 or something like that. So, and it, it took them a while. Like, it, it it actually took them a while to um, to get around to even doing zombies. I, I think I think uh, the guys at uh, Treyarch were a little hesitant at first, but uh, they kept pushing it. They kept pushing it, and eventually it became into this huge friggin' success that it is today, right? And it will be in Black Ops 2! All right, day eight. Look at these guys, how fast they are, man. I need some new weapons, though. I'm a little disappointed. Come on. And we got three dudes. Look at the old guy at the top. Come on, dude. Shoot. Shoot. And they shoot so freaking slow. So what I tend to do in these uh, later rounds, since we have those two guys up top, I mean, you can actually leave a lot of the zombies that come in at the top, except the, for the really, really fast ones. And uh, those guys will do some damage on them. The guy at the bottom is not even... Dude, shoot the dogs. Come on! Shoot the dogs! Oh, wow, he got one. Yay, you killed the dog. Man, these guys are freaking useless, aren't they? <laughs> you know what they need? You know what they need here? They need a zombie counter. Oh, yeah, a shoddy. I should help the guy with the dogs, bro. Oh, yeah. Nice. There we go. Helped you out there. But it's cool because now we have 20%. See? One hour take, uh, repairs 20% of the barrier. So we're going to go with two hours. Oops. I think for three hours. I dropped my pen. And I'm getting another cold. I hate that. <clears throat> I think it's because I'm not sleeping enough. Look at that. We lost one. Come on. We lost the freaking survivor and we didn't find any weapons. Damn it. All right, day nine. 
day nine. You guys should, uh, I challenged you guys to beat my, uh, my days survived here, by the way. Let's see if you can. Alright. Let's see what I end up with. And I'm sure you can do better than I am. I would have liked to, uh, to have unlocked, uh, the sniper rifle. I don't end up unlocking it, but I do have a couple other weapons that I unlock here. That I will show you. Because they are epic. Here in the last stand. It's bad they didn't have different levels. That'd be cool. Different maps, different maps you can play on. <laughs> oh yeah, shotgun time. See what I mean? It just you actually have to let it reload, but then it takes it takes forever. Come on, two for one. Oh no! Yeah. There we go. All right. What are we gonna? We're at sixty-one. Oh man. <clears throat> we only we're only back down to fifteen percent. We're going on to day 10, so we do have to use three hours to repair, and oh, come on, we lost another guy, and no new weapons. What is up with that? Man, day 10. I miss the old guy, man. He was epic. Look at that, they're freaking going to town in the barrier. They're already at 80%. Jesus. Uh, we need you know what you need in this game? You need you need perks, man. You need like sleight of hand and freaking double tap. That'd be cool. They should do the, whoever did this flash game, they should come up with another game and, and do kind of like a tribute game to uh to COD Zombies since this is where it all began. And just uh add in some some stuff like that. That'd be cool, like perks and stuff. <laughs> That would be epic. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Dude, no, shoot him. Thank you. Uh, we're going to end up spending all our time repairing the barrier. Ah, oh, man, five hours. That's crazy. We use the rest of the time searching for weapons. Yo, ooh! Chainsaw! Oh, yeah. I wonder if, the, if you actually find the, the weapons random. Like if I play it again, I'd actually find something else than the chains other than the chainsaw. All right, day eleven, or night eleven, I should say. I got to use this chainsaw though; it's freaking cool. I, you know, obviously I'm waiting until they get up closer. <laughs> I don't think I really needed to tell you that, did I? <laughs> but, uh, they're they're actually slower this time around. They'll, they'll get up here. Get, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah! Hey, Grandma! What's up? Did these guys escape the insane asylum? They're all wearing orange. Or they're they're in, from the county prison. Woo! Oh, look at all the blood, too. That's good. See, they had some, uh, not really, I wouldn't say it's gibbing, but, uh, the blood splattering everywhere. Look at these fast guys. Look at this big fat guy. He did, wow, dude, you got a chainsaw to the freaking gut. He didn't go down. Oh my god, our berries at 70. Oh, it's not too bad, 72%. Come on, mama. Oh, I can't move. Uh, what's going on? I can't move. Oh, there, there we go. And, whoa, what do you have sticking out of your eye? What the hell was that? Wow. Alright, so we're down to 67%. All right, we'll go back up to 97 and search for weapons. Come on, give me another weapon. Oh, my God. Okay. Night number 12. Whoa. I'm not even hitting the dog. Come on. See, that's the thing. I'm letting all these freaking dogs. There we go. Oh, yeah. Chainsaw time, baby. Woo! Oh, I gotta love that. That's what they need in freaking uh, Nazi zombie, man. They need a chainsaw. Seriously, you do need a chainsaw. I know they have it in uh, Left 4 Dead. Obviously. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? Woo, hey, buddy! Look <laughs> at this guy. They're just running. Hey, I want a piece of that chainsaw, man. My guy's not even firing. Seriously. Alright, we're gonna switch back to the UMP. Because the UMP is overpowered. Actually, the chainsaw is overpowered, but. <laughs> I think they're both overpowered. 
this isn't uh, this isn't uh, Modern Warfare 2, is it? No. All right. Good. We survived again, and uh, we're down. Ooh, man, the barrier's down to 16 percent, 15 percent. Jeez. We're gonna have to use all, like, pretty much all our time to uh, repair the barrier. That sucks. Oh yeah, eight, eight hours. I'm gonna go seven or eight. Yeah, eight hours. Sorry, eight or nine, and then four hours for weapons. Oh yeah, sawed off. Sawed off, baby. For night thirteen. Wow, we're doing awesome. Like I said, let's see what you guys can, uh, where you guys can get to. Oh my God, this guy's going freaking super fast, dude. Oh, these guys are really, really fast. What the, I, he can't run that fast. You see the size of them? Look at the size of these guys, and they're running freaking... Oh, my God. It's like they're running the 100-meter dash. Freaking Ben Johnson. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, ben Johnson on steroids. Yeah. Oh, man, we're at 34%. See, I'm not taking care of the dogs. That's That's the whole problem right here. Oh, no, no, no. And the, the double-barreled man just... Yeah, it's not working. It's good. It's not bad, but, man. Oh, these guys... Oh, yeah, we're, we're overrun. Dude! Dude, the, the guy ran away! Where'd that guy run to? Anyways, that was been Last Stand. Hope you liked it. I'm Spider, and I'm out.